What's up, guys? This is the forum, the third show for today. Um, I'm going to be uploading these videos all damn night. Uh, just for the sake of getting them all uploaded before tomorrow hits, which, being the East Coast, isn't satisfying. Um, basically, one thing I want to talk about today is tackles and PvP. Um, basically, rated battlegrounds and two specific battlegrounds the Battle for Grenaeus and Tobarod. Um, the Battle for Grenaeus, I'm wondering how exactly this is going to work. Because, um,. Now, of course, with every battleground, they have to have lore tied into it. Um, or at least some logical reason to go to that battleground. And, um, now I know with the, with the lore, it's the undead attacking the worgen. But, um, I really don't understand, like, like how, how is that the, would you end that story also? Um, but, on the other side, I actually haven't really looked into um, the Battle for Gilneas, the, the Battle for Gilneas much, um, at all. I've been more interested in Tolbarad, actually, um, because Tolbarad, you know, being the new Wintergrasp, I liked Wintergrasp a lot. Um, I thought that was a cool environment to be in, especially since, you know, before that, the cap we saw for a, a battleground was 40 people, tops, um, unless it was world PvP. And I liked the idea of encouraged world PvP. That's what Wintergrass basically was. It wasn't a battleground. It wasn't a regular PvP zone. It was a encouraged world PvP. So pretty much, when you're in Wintergrass, it's a PvP server, basically. That's basically how it is. Um, cause you have to be flagged, whether the battle is going on or not, you have to be flagged. Now, I did hear in, in Cataclysm and Tolbarad, you won't have to be flagged when you're doing, when the battle is not going on. What are you doing, Shibi? Yeah, no, uh, yes, okay. Oh, God. He's PvP and he's joining, he's talking about a furious word, just whooped a wrathful warrior's ass. This just proves again that gear don't mean shit. Um. Wow, that's sad though. Uh, <laughs> honestly, that one actually is sad. I can't. I can't even defend that. Like, gear should mean something. It's, it's that and big of a difference. Oh, he got the charge though. He's gonna win. Oh, throw down. Oh shit! All right, his power rocket. Oh, furious warrior, throw him down. Okay. I'm doing a whole bunch. Not doing much damage right now. Okay, switching to defensive disarm. Good, 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 good. God, we're, it sounds like you're doing play-by-play -play uh, on PvP. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, he's gonna die! Disarm! Ah! Who won? Who won? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, let's see. Who won? Who won? Who won? Ah, the wrathful warrior won. No. Well, it honestly, I think when when he lost, was there like other people on him on the wrathful warrior besides the uh, furious warrior that was on him? Oh, I thought you were in a battleground. No, they're just dueling. That, that is really terrible. Honestly, how did he get... Does he have rough the shoulders? I, I don't know. It, it, okay, here we go again. He's, he's dueling him again. Start, only the fierce were starting at Berserker. He got the charge. Russell Warrior Trinket charge. Oh, he's in a throwdown now. Oh, shit. He's taking a lot of damage. Oh, he's, now the Russell Warrior's throwdown. Oh, shit. Alright, I have play by play for two minutes, um, which is about what we have left. Um, but I think it's ridiculous. I, I think it is ridiculous that a wrathful warrior can lose to a furious warrior. Does he have wrathful well, shoulders? I, I, I saw the way the furious war, warrior played the first duel when he lost, and it was literally flawless. Like, there wasn't anything he couldn't have done. So he's probably an old warrior that took a break from the character for a while since he has furious. Yeah, like, it, it, it was perfect. Like, it, there, I, you know, I can usually point out mistakes. This guy's it just, it was flawless. So, I mean, he had a few mistakes there because he didn't charge and throw down soon enough.
or he didn't throw down when uh, when um, he had a uh, exorcism proc, which would have been the best idea. Or usually when I throw down on my warriors, when all my shit's up, so that way I can you know mortal strike over. Oh shit! Fierce warriors gonna throw down again. Fierce warrior just threw down. Wrathful Warrior. Wrathful Warrior is taking a lot of damage. You know, this gives me an idea. What is this? Disarmed. Like? Oh shit! Furious Warrior might win. Cobalt Bomb getting a charge off. Ah oh, shit! Wrathful Warrior got the charge. You know, it should be this. Furious guy... Warrior's in a bro storm. He bro storm charged. Shibby. Wrathful Warrior went berserk. Ah, oh, still lost. Shit. Shibby, what? this gives me a good idea. What if we start a new show? Where we like do commentating on duels. Oh uh, yeah, commenta commentating is a good idea. I mean, I, I love commentating. It's so and much fun. That kind of fits me too, because that's always kind of what I wanted to do. I wanted to be like a sports commentator. Yeah, that, like, it's, it's it's really boring commentating some other fights. Okay, Raffle Hunter and Raffle Paladin. Who's gonna win? The Raffle Holy Paladin. No. I uh, see. Paladins would be boring, boring duels. Because you know Paladins are gonna to win. I don't know why. Right, we're up on our uh, one minute. We're this fight is very, very boring because he's just shooting the shit out of the center. All right, let's find something else. Aha! There they go again. The Furious Warrior, nothing but. All right, Furious Warrior got the charge off in the stock.